Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And as I was scrolling through the internet, I found a wonderful tangle by Jennifer Hohensteiner. And it's called Oolong. And I, I love kind of organic things, but I love the vining lifts of this. And it's just unique. And so that's what we're doing today. And I am going to do it. I did it on a really big bookmark, but I'm just going to do it on a smaller strip of paper, a smaller bookmark, so that you can, it won't take me quite as long to do. And um, so I, I have my pens out here. Today I am going to use um, a micron gray, a very light gray, and a medium gray. Micron 01, a black 01, and I always put a little mark on my black 01 so when I pick it up I don't pick up a 05 by mistake, and a micron black 05, and I am shading with um, a French gray. Um, I just had that and I thought, well, I'm just doing gray, so let's go with just the gray color. And all of these are available on my website. So um, let's start out with the 01. And we're just going to do a kind of a wavy line along that um, bookmark. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to aura it. And it doesn't matter, I usually like to put my pen tip back on the end of there. It doesn't matter if it's um, thin or a little thicker because we are going to end up striping this a little. Not really striping it, but giving it a little um, uh, texture. And I always put a little... Um, I don't know, little circle at the end. I don't know why I do that. I just do. So that's your first step. And your second one is with the black. I'm just going to put a vine that goes underneath in that holly bob effect where we draw under all the way up. And now I'm going to start putting I'm going to stick with my 01, black 01 for a, a little bit, and I'm going to just do some spiral vines out so that, that we get a just a little bit of a texture to this. And I'm just going to go up my one little single vine putting some little spirals and they can go in or out and now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a leaf shape and at that same time I'm just going to draw a little vein in my leaf shape and maybe I'll only put one and maybe I'll put two. It just is kind of how I feel if there's what kind of room there is. And all the way up I put just a little viney leaf shape. Now I'm going to put down my, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and and stripe this center. And I'm going to give it a little curve. Matter of fact, I am going to really exaggerate the curve. I'm going to exaggerate that curve. I came in a little bit so that it gives this line we have here a rounded look. And you can put these as close together 
or as far apart as you want. Now, I'm going to put my 01 to the side and I'm going to pick up my 05 because I am going to put some um, some dots and if you were to look at my my 01, the tip is really, I have a hard time. I am heavy handed and so I have to be very careful. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to put A leaf shape of um, just like you were to do Bronx cheer but instead of doing it in a um, circle we're just going to do it down in the crevice in kind of a leaf shape that comes out so there may be one down in and then three and then back to two and then up. So it kind of gives it this um, just a different looking leaf shape. I loved it. Of course, I think that might have been what drew me to this tangle because I am... I, I love um, dots and um, circles, so, but there we have it all the way up the um, stem. And now I'm going to go to my next, um, to my lightest, gray, my darkest gray, and I am going to put another vine up. And it kind of holly baws under what's there already. And we're going to come back and do the same thing. We're going to make a spiral coming out. all the way up and now we're going to come back and do our little leaf shapes. And it's a, it's a one liner so if you make your leaf shape right over the top of that one before it's going to be okay because it could be, that vine could be growing over or under what's present there. And they can be small or they could be larger. And I've got to come back and make sure I put my little stems in there. And now I'm going to put my dots, and I'm going to use this same O1. And it's going to appear to be a little bit darker because I'm putting it kind of thick. I'm just going over my little dots a lot. So it's going to present itself as just a little darker than just like the black. little Bronx cheer
and there we have that one. Now I'm going to come to my very, very lightest and I'm just going to put a I scroll off of that one that was my light gray. And now I'm going to come back to my um, 01 pin and I'm going to just put a few little dots, just very light, up my gray stem. Even my very light gray stem, I want some contrast there. And there we have just kind of some shading from the my my studio my um, table is a little um, slanted it's for my sake and now I'm going to add some color or some shading I should say so I'm just going to go up one side of my um, my, that center stem that I did and I'm going to put a little bit of color which I've gotten into it's just kind of my go to thing lately for around my and now I'm going to take my um, shading stump and this one has a little bit of green on it but I want to reuse it so I'm just going to clean it off with an emery board so that it doesn't have it on there and now I'm going to take my odorless paint thinner and I'm going to blend Trying to make sure that I leave a little bit of white. I don't want it to be all over the whole stem up there. I want it to leave a little bit of the light color up there. And then I'm going to blend my gray that I put down here. It's just a little tiny bitty border. come out I was probably not on camera but there you can see how we've got a little dimension now I'm going to come back with my 05 pen and I'm going to give myself just a few little just you know these little creatures that fly around in bushes we call them white flies well I have an infestation of white flies in the summer so, or no seams. I'm sure they're all, but there we have our oolong and fun tangle to do, um, enjoyable. And I hope you enjoyed this tangle lesson. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays for sure. I apologize for not having one Thursday. I don't know what happened. I thought I had one and it didn't wasn't there. So thank you very much for um, supporting this channel and have a great day and don't forget to tangle every day.